If your maths exam is coming up, do not panic. Make sure you do this instead. So most students, they actually run out of time when they go into their exams and I do not want that to be you. So I'm gonna run you through something that I would always do in exams. So it seems very simple, but a lot of people just don't do it. What I would do is when you're in an exam, okay, actually have a look at how many marks there are and how much time you have. So for example, in this sample exam I've got here, this is a hundred marks here. So adding the multiple choice and then adding the short answer, it's gonna give us a hundred marks and then it's gonna be three hours, which is 180 minutes. When you actually do that, let's divide it. So we'll do minutes divided by marks. So that means we're gonna get around 1.8 minutes per mark, which is like 1.48, one minute, 48 seconds, which is, I'm just gonna put it as one and a half minutes just for ease, right? Because it's probably better that you do it faster anyway. Then you can actually have a benchmark on what you should be doing and how fast you should be getting stuff done. So for example, here with this like multiple choice question, this should take you absolutely one and a half minutes max, okay? And if you're not getting it done in that time, you need to move on, bro, right? And then here, say for example, you have a three marker, okay, for this one, it's gonna be three times that 1.5 minutes. Should be around four and a half minutes, probably a little bit quicker as well to make sure you finish on time too. If you're getting anywhere further than that any longer, you need to move on, otherwise you're not gonna reach the end of the exam and you're gonna lose all of these marks, which you probably could get at the end of the exam as well. So that one's an easy tip, but I swear no one actually says it. So follow for more maths tips and good luck in your next exams.